Hello everybody, Trixie541 here, back with episode 14 of our Minecraft Let's Play. So as you can see, I have been pretty busy. Um, I ended up following another tutorial by It's Marlo, and now we have a little fishing shack. Isn't that exciting? Um, I also ended up, while we were away, getting an enchantment table going, and by pure luck alone... On my level 30 enchantment, I managed to get Unbreaking 3, Lure 3, and Luck of the Sea 3 on my first fishing rod. So I was really super excited about that because that means we have plenty of opportunity to do some crazy AFK fishing and getting more name tags. Um, updated map, doesn't it look fantastic? On that note of more name tags, however, we do also have our first named villager. I went ahead since I was pretty set on the name Emily. And now Emily is officially a resident of our little village, Emily the Butcher. Um, we also finally have a shepherd. I don't think we had one as of our last time playing, so he uses that little table. I did have to take the lantern off because for some reason he absolutely refused to use the job block without the lantern. Um, while building the fishing shack, I went through a lot of nights, so we also had a lot of mobs in the village, and as a result, the sorry the chickens are really loud as a result the villagers decided that we could utilize an iron golem and they made an iron golem happen so i'm very excited about that um i did also realize that i don't think the bed up on that tower is actually accessible to villagers so for the time being i am going to place the bed on the floor with the fletcher fletcher's table that way we can see if they will make a baby have him attuned to that bed and then we'll get a fletcher i will put the bed back up on the tower um afterwards so unfortunately that villager will have to figure it out um i also have a bed in here this is the fishing hut i did end up having him live here just because i think the idea of a secluded fisherman is a lot nicer and it's marlo's tutorial was very nice obviously his tutorial has different colors and different blocks i just ended up again attuning it more to our village theme so we've got his little bed, a table, an eating table, and if you come out here, there's actually this little dock with this uh, little lake here. This lake is in fact large enough for me to fish up treasure as well, so this is where I'll be doing most of my AFK fishing. And then he's just got like a little seating area and stuff. I have yet to put- oops, didn't realize I could break those without a pickaxe. I have yet to put a flower in there, um, so yeah. But everybody seems to be doing pretty well, so I'm pretty happy with it. And now we can do some AFK fishing for you guys. So next time we meet up, um, I may or may not have more name tags for us to use. It is now becoming night, so I'm just going to quickly run to bed. I think this episode, I might just make another farm, if I'm being completely honest. We're pretty short on a wheat supply. Um, and with all the animals that I would like to continue breeding to get more books for the librarian, I think I do want to, um, increase our wheat supply. So I might get another farmer going. With another farmer, that would also mean it would be easier to, um, oh my goodness, that's night time, come on. <clears throat> Pardon me, with another farmer, we should be able to actually get more villagers as well since another reason why uh, villagers may not be having children is due to a lack of food supply. So, this episode it's going to be a lot of chopping down trees and figuring out where a second farm is going to go. I really like the way this farm is, but I think I might put another one right there on that hill. And that one I think I am going to make larger. I might make like twin farmers over there. This guy will be like the OG farmer and then I'll have twin farmers over there. I'm thinking of making their supply mostly wheat, um, however, I might make a level 4 farm for them. So yeah. I would like to get resources going to get a um, stonemason and armor guy, <clears throat> all that jazz, but right now the um, librarian is the top priority. For no particular reason, maybe I'll make the cleric my next priority, because clerics are easy emeralds. But I would like to get those two um, in the village first, just because they're a little bit more exotic. And the builds I'm planning on doing for those guys are also 
quite a bit more intensive than um, the previous builds. I have um, some nice tutorials loaded up for a church that I'm planning on doing for the cleric. And I have a, another one by, I believe it's Marlo again, for a nice library. Um, it's Marlo has a lovely playlist for um, his own personal series of custom villager houses. I actually quite like um, quite a bit of his villager houses, so I will probably be utilizing a lot of them. That being said, not all of the ones that I end up doing are going to be by him. Case in point, that barn was not uh, his tutorial. But yeah, I, I really like the way he does things. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with the- Oh my god, they had a baby! You guys! There's our little Fletcher. I did- or Fisherman. I did have to put a pressure plate- or a pressure plate- of the bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I did have to put a trapdoor in front of my house because one of them did get in and try to become a stonemason. Look at the little child! Oh my goodness! Hello there! <laughs> the babies are so cute, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not sure which bed he's going to be more inclined to use, but that now brings us up to four villagers, so we almost have enough for them to be considered a fully-fledged village, where they will then in turn start spawning things like cats. So I'm super excited to get some cats in here, because I am fed up with creepers. Um, this should be in this chest. There we go. Just gonna make another axe so that we can then start chip chopping some more trees. There we go. And yeah, this is my enchanting room so far as well. Obviously I don't have all the books completed, but I am able to reach um, level 30 enchants with this as well. I'm going to wait on that. Efficiency 4 is really good, but I'm more looking for a fortune one first. So, let's go chip chop chop. <clears throat> one birch sapling. I don't understand why birch trees don't tend to drop as many saplings as other trees. Like, it's upsetting. But whatever. I also looked for a way to possibly automate tree farming and unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a way to do that um which is rather unfortunate i think chopping down trees is one of my least favorite things to do in minecraft i wish i knew how to mod the newer versions of minecraft because inventory pets was one of my favorite mods I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with um, those kinds of mods for mod packs like Crazy Craft and stuff, but Inventory Pets was one of my all-time favorite mods. It just made things so much more interesting and fun. So if I ever figure out how to mod, I would love to add something like that to our playthroughs. I think it could be so much fun. But yeah, for now, we're just going straight up vanilla. And while a lot of people would be focusing on getting armor and stuff for the Ender Dragon, honestly, the Ender Dragon is something that I am planning on defeating in this playthrough, but the priority is definitely the village. Just getting some wholesome vibes. Um, I do not want to have to place down another block. Please let this be the last one. Of course it isn't. Oh goodness, I do not like leaving floating trees. And there we go. I would have filmed a Minecraft video yesterday or the night before. However, I was out with quite a few friends and I think I got some food poisoning. So I didn't really feel like doing anything. <laughs> Finally, so there we go. <clears throat> Pardon me, we got some nice trees. Now we can just wait for this to deteriorate a little bit more. These are not deteriorating at all, so hmm, whatever. 
let's go build ourselves a new farm actually i'm gonna see if i have any more dirt to see if i can mark out the farm with dirt first um dirt and sand preferably because there we go i would like to get part of the farm done in um sand see if we can get some more sugar cane going i like our little iron golem though he seems to be doing well and i do sleep through most nights so how do i want to do this do i want to put the farm on the hill i think i'm going to put the farm on the hill and maybe i'll have like i don't know something else here maybe his house yeah farm on the hill i can fill in this little this little thing this is weird all righty yeah and this could be a nice sized farm for everyone and it'll help me get rid of some of the dirt in my chests how is everyone's week going huh besides the weird food poisoning incident my week's been pretty chill pretty chill i'm just mainly on twitter lately um looking up pokemon news seeing if the leakers have said anything else regarding new pokemon or new forms i do very much so appreciate that they went over um some more characters on the last trailer i do think that was a very fun news to find out about however i am desperate to form my team so i'm hoping that the next trailers they release have a little bit more to do with um i hope that it has a little bit more to do with the new pokemon i i'm gonna be completely honest a lot of people really like c titan um i do not i think it's an ugly pokemon apparently its pre-evolution is rumored to be very very cute but I uh, do not want, <laughs> you know, Sea Titan is definitely not going to be a member of my team. I can say that with basically full confidence. I am not going to utilize uh, Sea Titan. That being said, I have heard again that there's supposed to be 120 new Pokemon. So give me the new Pokemon. Right now, Smoliv um, is the most treasured member of my party. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, because I do like to nickname all the Pokemon on my team. So we will have to figure it out. But Smoliv 100% is going to be on my team as of right now. And uh, definitely my most prized Pokemon so far. I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very excited about it. Um... I would like to get some more Pokemon though. In particular, again, I'm really hopeful that um, they end up designing one after the Lucky Rooster of Portugal. I absolutely love that story and I keep these little um, Lucky Rooster statues everywhere as a result of that, I'm being completely honest. I have little Lucky Rooster pendants all over my room and I even have one on my car keys. <laughs> Because they're lucky and I believe in stuff like that so yeah I really hope that they end up modeling a Pokemon after that and the shiny form could be the white version since they are harder to find I just think it's so cool um I don't think they're gonna do something like Vivillion for it but they could either way I'm super excited and I really hope that's something they end up doing because there are so many cute possibilities with having one modeled after that rooster 150% if they end up including a Pokemon based off of uh, the rooster, I will actually use it on my team. Like 150%, that will be one of the Pokemon I use on my team. Um, So I'm not sure if I've talked about this before on our playthroughs, but have you guys... Um, Oh my god, train of thought, train of thought, train of thought. What gym leader would you guys be? Would you guys have a particular type of Pokemon you would use if you were a gym leader? I 100% would be a ghost type gym leader. And my ace would be Miss Magius. I absolutely adore Miss Magius. I can safely say Miss Magius is my second favorite Pokemon. Um, 
of all time. My favorite Pokemon, of, mm, it might actually be my favorite Pokemon of all time, tied with Espeon. My favorite color is pink, not purple, but uh, I absolutely love those two. They will always hold a special spot in my heart. I wish there was more merch for Miss Megas because I have so much merch for, um, for Espeon, but I have like next to nothing of Miss Megas. And I would absolutely love to have some quality Miss Magius merch. Mm, could be bigger, could be bigger. Oh. Yep. I'd say that's a decent size. Alright, so. Let's map out this farm. I actually got inspired for this type of farm by um a vanilla are those, those are not the same size are they are they i think they might be the same size i got inspired by a vanilla um village to do this shape of farm actually um I was running around uh, getting some more resources while on my own time and I came across one of those mountain villages that had space for four farmers on a massive massive farm that was shaped much like this one. So I'm planning on doing this. I'm not sure if I'm going to do four farmers for this. I think I'm just going to do two because four farmers plus the guy that we already have down there is a little bit excessive in my opinion for one village um especially considering i'm not planning on having like massive 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 village going on you know i think that's nice now we grab these all righty and this will be a nice farm for us I will do half of it wheat and half of it sugarcane, um, just because, again, we need wheat to breed our cows so that we can get leather, and we need sugarcane to get paper. I do want to make some celebratory cakes as well. I actually ended up liking a TikTok um, that I found recently because... Um, Goodness, I ended up liking a TikTok that I found recently because they ended up making a really cute birthday cake out of two cakes and a few other things. So I would like to um, simulate that birthday cake in our world, but like just as a little celebratory thing for us because I think we're doing great with our village. We've got we've got some nice vibes going on. Do I have any oak stairs already created? I do. Perfect. Righty, let's put some of this stuff away. And there we go. Inventory is organized. I should really start cooking more, but I still am running into the problem where I don't have enough coal. I need to take a massive mining trip with you guys and just find coal. My strip mine is also proving to be extremely fruitless, which is unfortunate. So we'll have to see if we end up finding anything else. Um, I don't think sugarcane can be placed on dirt, so I will need to find um, something else to put here. Now, I think it would be really cool to have the wheat visible from my house and the village center. So we'll do wheat on these two and sugarcane on the other two. So let's go get some seeds and then I will make a new shovel and we will go find some sand. And then I also have to make some compost bins so that we can actually get some farmers going there. Bloop. Um, I do have some seeds in this chest. And I have so many seeds in this chest. These should actually be in the big farm. I'll leave one stack here just in case. 
and then I'll go feed the farm animals. We have quite a few chickens uh, that I've been saving up for the farmer, actually, for the farmer, for Emily the butcher. So we will probably go and take care of those chickens at some point as well because they make so much noise and if I have that many I can afford to slay a few of them. There we go. So now we've got some nice sections of wheat going. And now I just need to find sand to do that bit. Um, and I need to make a shovel. So let's go do the farm first and then we'll take care of the sand and get all that taken care of. <laughs> you're, you're sorry. Mess of chickens right now. Um, collect all the eggs so that we can actually get more chickens. Oh wow, that's a lot of eggs. We could make so many cakes. Let's get in here. I'm so happy I got rid of those fence gates because now there's no fear of accidentally letting these guys out. Goodness, there are so many chickens. All right, and now we just spawn some more. And eventually I will get rid of these. <laughs> But for now, I just want a steady amount. I keep hearing zombie noises. Um, I did on my own time go on spectator mode just to see if there was a cave underneath us, and there is in fact a cave underneath us. So I don't have a single piece of wheat. Great. Um, there is in fact a cave underneath us, so we just have to um, go either plug that up or light it up at some point. We'll have to see. And there we go. So we'll have to breed the cows and everybody else at some other time. I will shear our sheep. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to actually try to get any more sheep. Um, maybe one more. But let's see. Where did the shepherd go? The shepherd trades white wool, 18 white wool for some emeralds. There we go, and 18 black wool for some emeralds. So yeah. And then come back here. Farmer, farmer, farmer. For now, we'll just get more apples. I do want to upgrade everyone fully eventually. Um so yeah. Put this pull back. And now let's all go off. We will find um, some sand. Let's go make that shovel go before I forget. Shovel. Two sticks. And my last piece of iron. I do want to actually decorate my own house as well, but the villagers come first. Alrighty. So I could just use the sand here, but I think I'm going to go this way, because if I recall correctly, there is a beach biome this way. Um, on the way, I do not mind possibly um, killing a few things, <laughs> just to again get more meat for Emily and get more leather for us to build the librarian and all that. Bloop. Oh, I just realized in order for me to get a cleric, I totally need a brewing stand, which means we're going to need to go back to the nether soon. So that's great. And we're also going to need to find a fortress. Ugh. I don't know why, but like just regular nether fortresses seem to be really, really difficult to find now since the new update happened. I'm not sure if they are planning on patching that at all or if that's just how it's going to be. So we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, it is next to impossible to find actual nether fortresses now, either that or I'm just that unlucky, but in all my playthroughs it seems like I've had incredible difficulty finding nether, fortress nether fortresses, so we'll have to see if we find something for this playthrough. Oh, it's becoming nighttime, that's no good. Well, that's okay. We haven't gone exploring in a while on this playthrough, so... Oh my god, I'm such bad aim. There we go. So we'll go exploring, 
and get some of this sand. Yeah. And look at that. We already have some nice supplies of steaks and pork chops for Emily. Um, lots of stone. I don't need stone. I do eventually want to find a jungle biome as well. So I'm not sure when. I keep saying we'll have a full-on exploratory episode, but trust me when I say we will because I want to find a jungle biome. Um... I want to find a jungle biome and I also need, there we go, there's lots of sand. I also need, 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 need to find um, a mangrove biome because I do want a small army of frogs. <laughs> I would love to have a green frog, but they're cold climate frogs and I'm not entirely sure how um, Minecraft like considers them to be in a cold climate. I've tried on past events to get um, to get cold climate frogs by like surrounding the tadpole in snow and that hasn't worked so I'm not sure if it has to be in an arctic biome. Um, if it does that's rather unfortunate because there's no way to actually like tame frogs. You have to um, get a tadpole bucket and just hope that they spawn. So, I can't exactly just have one follow me home after taming it, you know? I have to lead it back, <laughs> so that's gonna suck. Um, we'll have to see how hard it ends up being. I might just get like a bucket of tadpole and um, yeet it for a spawn cold climate frog egg. We'll have to see and go from there. Also, I have yet to see uh, frogs completely like decimate in um, animals. Like a lot of people are like, oh, frogs will eat in mobs. They'll eat the ender dragon even. I have yet to see them eat any mobs. In previous playthroughs, they kind of just waddle around, you know? So I don't know if I've just been lucky in the sense that I haven't witnessed that or what, but um, uh, yeah. So let's see if we can- oh, more bulbs! Let's see if we can make our way back. Um, I don't need to tame another wolf, so we will leave these guys to be. They've got a lovely pack. Wow, nice big pack of wolves. And yeah, we'll head back. I've got lots of sand now, so that should be plenty for us to, um... That should be plenty for us to get the sugarcane farm going. <laughs> There we go. Seems like today I just can't finish my sentences. That is A-OK. -okay. It happens to the best of us. Um, but yeah, now I've got plenty of sand to finish that farm. And we'll actually probably end the episode with that farm being completed and me putting down two more, um... Two more... What are they called? Composter. That's the word I was looking for. We'll probably finish the episode with me putting down a few more composters so that we can get some farmers going and all that good jazz. And then um, next episode, honestly, I'll probably just build a few more villager houses so that we can actually get a few more villagers able to spawn. Because right now we did have that child, which is very exciting. Yay! But um, we unfortunately did not get a whole bunch of kids. So again, that'll help with the farmers that we're gonna put in and that'll help with getting more villagers, which will ultimately lead to more iron golems, which will ultimately lead to cats, which is the thing that I'm most excited about is the kitties. So yeah, we are finally back home. It is nighttime, but we do have that one iron golem. Um, I'm hoping that with the increased amounts of knights, that I'm spending walking around, more iron golems will spawn. As a result, that should increase the amount of cats we see as well. So far, still just the one iron golem, so we'll see if they change their mind during the day. But let's go take a nap. Oh, I've got an arrow in me. Lovely. <laughs> Alrighty. It's still raining, huh? 
Oh, he's a grown-up now. I wonder what kind of job he's going to pick. There's also a creeper right next to where I want my farm to be, which is upsetting. So, let's murder. Hello? Hello? Take this. Aww. I hate creepers so much. I really, really do. They're not even like super inconvenient. I'm not worried about dying to a creeper. I'm worried about this. Because this is just, it's, it's unnecessary. Unnecessary. Once the grass fills in, that'll look better. Ugh. Upsetting. Upsetting. At least now we can get the farm going. Get ourselves some sand. And some more sand. I'm actually really excited to get this farm going because I think it will be very nice to have a four-tier farm and have it show up on the map as well. That'll be super exciting. So there we go. Uh, let's eat some of our lovely apples, courtesy of our farmer. Yum, 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 yum. And now we are going to grab sugarcane. And I'm going to see if I can build some um, composters. And that'll be where we leave the episode for today. I don't actually know how to build composters. I think you need slabs. I think you need slabs. Slabs? Question mark? Composter. It's all slabs. Okay. That's surprising. I did not realize it was all slabs. There we go. Some more job blocks. I needed something else, didn't I? No. We good, we good. Oh yeah, no, I need the sugar cane. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't see our no job villager. He did end up growing up, but I don't see him wandering around. Um... I wonder if he became a fisherman. I tried to build paths to every building because villagers supposedly follow paths. He did become a fisherman. Not, in fact, a Fletcher, but a fisherman. Hello, kind sir. Ooh. And he actually has really good trades. I don't know if I have 20 string, but I would like to lock that in. So... I'll see what kind of, how much string we have, and then I'll end the episode. <laughs> there, one composter there. And we'll put another one in this corner. And now, oh. Aw, oh, do these need to be, like, directly in, oh, they need to be right at the water source. You're kidding me. Angry. Anger. Fine. I guess I'll replace that with dirt, and then whoever becomes a new farmer can plant whatever they want there. Because we're going to have to keep doing sugarcane the old-fashioned way. I can't believe I made that mistake. That's very upsetting. Oh well. I'll have to go and replace that with um, dirt. I have no string. Can I make string? No, I can't make string. That's upsetting. That's really, really upsetting. Alright, well, let's go change that back for dirt so that our map is accurate. And then I will go up to update the map. Um, I'm not going to build a path to this yet. Because I'm not sure where I'm going to build their house. I think I'm just going to build their house next to this house here. I'm going to obviously make it a larger structure so that it fills in that space properly. Um, 
and then we'll just have this farm up here and next to the farm we'll probably end up putting the church just so that it's still close to town square and we'll probably end up putting um we will probably end up putting a blacksmith and stuff around as well we also have to pick a nice spot for the library eventually but there we go our farm is officially complete let's go update the map I'm very happy we got a fisherman though, and he does have extremely good trades that, again, I'm very low on coal, so the coal is not a good trade, but the string is lovely. All right, and that farm will be on this map. Yes. There we go. Would you look at that? So once that patch fills in and I actually get some wheat there, that'll look really nice on our map, but our village is very much so developing i'm pretty happy with where we left off today we ended up getting a fisherman we ended up building a nice farm over there um unfortunately nobody's taken over that fletcher table yet so i can't quite move that up into the tower but eventually i will it was lovely seeing you guys again i hope you have a wonderful fantastic weekend thank you for joining me for this episode have a great day Bye bye